I'm fumbling. I've never met anyone quite like her before. Hey everybody, welcome back to In Your Name. It's your girl, Eni. And today we are doing this bronzy, chocolatey, goddessy look. You know what I'm saying? Because it's summer and we feeling cute. So if you would like to see how I came up with this beautiful look, make sure you're first and foremost subscribed to my channel, like this video, and keep budget. Oh y'all. I am so late, so we just gonna get into this. I have my brows done already. I'm gonna prep my eyelids. I'm just gonna use my one size turn up the base concealer. This is um, for neutral golden. Plop a little dot on each eye. I've been really feeling browns lately, so that's what I'm gonna try and attempt to do today. Oh, did I lose my brush? Y'all ever be doing your makeup and like your stuff just be disappearing in front of you? That's what be happening to me. I'm gonna take this Morphe M173 brush and just pet, pet, pet all over my lid space. Trying to make sure that it's smooth. Cause if you have a patchy base, your shadows won't come out patchy. Pro tip. Using a setting brush from Real Techniques and my one size turn up the base translucent powder, it is pretty much empty, but we're just gonna finish this out. <laughs> I do have a new one. We're just gonna set my eyelids, press that powder in so I can try to avoid some creasing. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right. I really didn't prep for this video today, so my makeup palette is a little dirty, but we're gonna go with the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Palette first. All right, I'm gonna take this brown down here in the corner. Um, I think that's matte nine. I don't know. One of these mattes. This dark brown right here in the corner, and we're just gonna put that all over my lid space. This is just a fluffy eyeshadow brush from Mia Small. Should look something like that. I'm gonna go on top of that with a fluffy um, Morphe brush. This is the M505. And I'm gonna take this shade right here and just use that to blend out the edges. So just really focusing kind of up towards my brow so those edges aren't super harsh. All right. Now we're just going to add a little bit of shimmer. I was going to put on a primer, but I feel like I kind of want this muted. So I'm taking my um, Topaz Obsessions palette from Huda Beauty, and I'm going to go in with this gold right here, and I think I should just really use my finger. I was going to use a brush, but I feel like I'm just going to pop this kind of in the middle of my eye. Oops, I went a little too far. Oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with that first brown that we used, that one right here, and I'm just gonna make sure I pack the corners in to blend it in a little bit more. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's a mascara. This is the Benefit Fan Fest. Um, I do, I am planning on putting on falsies, but this is just gonna help my lashes to lay better because mine curls so bad. <laughs> and help pick this up so that I can put on my liner. I was debating doing like black shadow today instead of liner, but I'm running late. Um, this is my NYX Epic Ink Liner in black. I'm just gonna take this in, draw my wing. You know, I kinda like to start by making a triangle and then filling it in. I'm probably just gonna try and do one eye on camera. I'm gonna put my falsies on later because I really don't like ruining lashes. I mean, doing my makeup with lashes on, like it's just not a thing for me. We are gonna prime. I'm going back to using my fave primer, one of my faves, um, the Airbrush 
primer, um, the Vanish from Hourglass. Really, really love this primer, like a lot. Let's try to put this all over. Y'all can really just ignore my breakouts. I've been so stressed. Like right now, I'm carless. My car decided to act up and it's not real stressful. <laughs> so, pray for your girl. It's been a little rough over here in these streets. Now for foundation, we're gonna go in with my Urban Decay again. I absolutely love this foundation, like a lot. I feel like I don't know, I can't get enough of it, and I love the way my face looks with it. So, I'm just gonna shake that up. Again, this is the shade um, 28. This is the Face Bond from Urban Decay. And I'm just gonna pat that out with my um, Via Small Angled like Kabuki. I'm gonna spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is just the original. I didn't spray my primer. I didn't even set my, oh my God, okay. Wow, I'm fumbling. We gonna see how this face lasts today because I did nothing I was supposed to. I'm gonna repress that spray in to my foundation since now I really need it. Wow, I cannot believe I did not set and or spray my primer. Oh my God, Andrea. I really just be doing dumb stuff. Like I really do. <sighs> I'm so mad at myself right now. I have my pawpaw sponge, it is damp, I'm just gonna Press in this foundation, make sure it's seamless. Oh, we gonna have to bake bake today. So for concealer, we are using a couple of new things. Mm -mm. Um, the first is the um, NARS Soft Matte Concealers that come in like the little pots. I'm gonna take this and put it in my inner corner. I'm using my um, Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. And you don't need a lot. This is a cream product, so you really don't need a lot. I'm really just gonna place that. Now I'm gonna let this sit. This was the shade, did I say? This was the shade Ginger. I don't think I said that. We're also gonna take the Futurist Concealer, the Soft Touch Concealer from Estee Lauder. I'm going to put this around the edges of that. This concealer is probably one of my new faves. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. So it helps to fade like dark spots, under eye bags, all that good stuff. And as I get older, you know, skincare and foundation is like a thing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's needed. It's necessary. And to contour, we're using the Juvia's Place Foundation Stick. This is the shade Tunisia. I cannot find my Katsina, and I had, like, three of them. We're just going to take that to the cheekbones. This is a foundation stick, not a contour stick, but it's still. And I was going to do blush today, but I'm feeling like I don't want to. I feel like I just want to use bronzer today. So before I start blending anything out... I'm going to spray my face. I have my Morphe Gold Can, the Continuous Prep and Set Mist. Whew. And we can start blending. So to blend out my contour, I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, foundation brush. This is the Expert Face Brush, um, number 200. And we're just going to pet, 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 pet. So when you're blending on your cheeks, you're kind of pushing up a little bit. This is kind of giving you that lifted face. Um, and on the jawline, kind of pulling down. This is what gives me the no chins, because I got about seven. You know what I'm saying? 
I've really been eating like I've been eating so bad this past week. So like so bad. Memorial Day weekend was last week and oof. Had me some turkey wings. I had me some collard green from macaroni and cheese. Had me a bunch of shrimp egg rolls. Yeah, I know it sounds random, but it was good. Real good. All right, so then blending out this concealer. Um, I am going to use my BH Cosmetics, and it's my Ray Ray setting brush. We're going to pat, 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 and I'm going to go on top of this with my sponge. So when blending your concealer, you always want to start on the edges and then wake your way in. It'll give you more of that airbrushed effect and help your blend to be a little more seamless. I'm going to take my foundation brush first and I'm just going to blend over where my contour and my concealer meet. Again, you really need this to be seamless. So like, you ain't trying to demarcate your face. You're trying to have an even, and a, a nice smooth blend, not even blend, because that makes sense. <laughs> you definitely want to blend this whole face out before you sit. I'm going to take my sponge and do the same thing, especially around the jawline, because you never want that to be super harsh. To be honest, I feel like I want a little bit more under the eye. So I'm going to take my concealer again and just put like a tiny bit more. Where did that brush go? Now, especially since this is a cream concealer, not a liquid, we are going to make sure we set right away because it will crease and it will keep moving. It will not stay set. So you have to sit, especially when you use this concealer. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as a self setting creamy concealer that don't that don't mess mess well. We're gonna set that with the airbrush flawless um, powder shade two from Charlotte Tilbury in my powder puff. Got some on my powder puff here. Okay. Now, I know y'all used to me using my like real expensive powders, but lately I've really been loving my Maybelline Fit Me. So I have that in um, medium deep 30. And we're gonna take that same powder puff and then just put this one top. To set my entire face, we're gonna use the yeah, we're just going to use the Fenty foundation powder. Um, this is shade 420. I have a big fluffy foundation brush. I was going to use my MAC powder, but I haven't used it in a very long time, so we ain't even going to play with myself. We are going to set my whole face, even though this foundation is self-setting. Um, can't hurt, you know? <laughs> We can bake now. Um, I'm gonna use my pink one size powder to bake. Taking that same powder puff we've been using and I'm just gonna bake the sides of my nose, under my eye, usual areas. While that sits, I'm gonna go put on my lashes and then I'll be right back. Lashes are on. <laughs> I'm gonna take a smaller um, BH Cosmetics brush and we're going to do my lower lash line. I'm literally gonna take those same two colors. Um, I'm gonna take this first brown and then put the gold in the center. So we're gonna do the browns first. So we're gonna take that gold, same brush, from the Huda Beauty palette. We're just gonna pop that right in the center. I'm gonna press that in. This is why I kept my bake on, just to make sure if I have any fallout, I can. Now for bronzer, we're gonna use the Dark, the Deep by um, Makeup by Mario. Taking my fluffy collar brush, and we're just gonna 
kind of dab this on the cheeks, up into the hairline, and then on my jawline. Now y'all know how I feel about using like reddish blushes on my nose, reddish bronzers on my nose. We're gonna take the Morphe Trailblazer bronzer and a um, smaller collar brush and we're just gonna chisel out my nose. Take it up into my brows, into that shadow. And I'm gonna take my powder foundation brush and just kind of blend the forehead a little bit because I don't want to go too heavy. Put that bronzer up there. So I got a new highlighter. It's the Max um, Gold Deposit, the Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter. This is an oldie but goodie, but you know, with the bronziness of the look we're doing today, I feel like this is gonna be perfect. Taking an angled collar brush, and we're just gonna load up my brush here and just lightly tap into my bronzer. Y'all know I really don't be wearing highlight on my cheeks, but I mean, when the situation calls for it, you know? All right, we're gonna just, just pack this powder in. I'm taking my concealer brush, we're just gonna pat in this powder before we spray our face. Um, we're gonna spray using the e.l.f. Net, um spray. This is their Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. Um, you do have to shake it up to activate it. This is a very fine mist, so I find myself spraying a lot of it, but I kind of like to go in with this before anything else. Like I can barely feel it. <laughs> super light, super duper light. And we're just gonna pat this in my concealer brush. Next, we're gonna use that Morphe spray again. Let that air dry. I'm gonna add in my beauty marks using that same liner that I used for my eyes. I'm gonna just go over top of the ones I already got. I know I got a lot, but I'm picking and choosing. If you have um, pimples, this is also a good trick to cover them up as well. All right, we're gonna take this pressed powder from Maybelline and I'm gonna just Press it on the sides of my nose to bake a little bit. And then taking a Real Techniques fluffy brush, we're just gonna pat it. All right, so lip combo today. Mm. I don't want to go brown brown. I'm gonna take the MAC chestnut pencil and line my lips. And then I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Unveil for the center. So while I was while I was baking, I just fixed my little curly cues, and I'm just gonna pat this powder in again with my concealer brush. Oh my god, that's what I was supposed to do. My memory card has one minute on it. Hold please. <laughs> Deleted some of those old videos that I had never posted. <laughs> so just taking up space. But um, I'm gonna take my brush with my bronzer on it and just kind of blend a little bit more on my nose 
just so that line isn't super harsh. I didn't put anything extra on it, just a little extra blending. So much better. Mm, for my lips, I don't know. I kind of like the brown the way it is, but I do want to take a little bit of the Anastasia Lip Velvet and Parchment and just put it like in the center. Like I feel like that might be a moment. You know, a little definition. Yeah, I like that. And we're going to keep it matte today. I know, y'all know I don't really be doing matte lips. But I think she a vibe. Mm. I think she a vibe. Okay. All right. Let's put some mascara on my lower lash line. And then we're pretty much done, y'all. Like, this is the same mascara we used earlier. Now we're going to spray our face with the Urban Decay All Nighter again. And once this dries, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this chocolatey, bronzy makeup tutorial. Um, I love how everything turned out. And I'm obsessed, as I always say. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Help me on my road to 1,000 subscribers. Um, you can follow me on Instagram as well. That's going to be um, down below, Instagram and TikTok like the little mini tutorials if you want to just get to know me on a better level and um leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are on this look because if i do say so myself it eats it eats all right so thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video Bye.